front of us is the Galaxy S5 and a bottle of water. We're going to give you a quick underwater test. First thing to do is make sure that all this, the handset is completely sealed. So you need to go around, make sure it's fully pressed down, make sure that the uh, USB cover is sealed, make sure the USB cover is sealed, and when you're done, we're ready to go underwater. So how is this underwater test going to work? First I'm going to play you a video with some speakers, then I'm going to show you the camera, and lastly I'm going to show you exactly what happens on the seal on the back and how it remains waterproof. So we've got a video playing, I'm going to skip it to a random point in the middle, that'll do there, that looks quite nice. It's on fully loud, underwater it goes. Make sure again that everything is sealed. And it's stopped playing. Let's take it back out again. As you can see, it just doesn't like responding when it's had a bit of water. Underwater it goes again. And it stopped playing a second time. Now surprisingly, this doesn't happen all the time. It does actually work underwater. The hands still doesn't want to respond. So now, Show we'll play it a third time. And it almost carried on playing, but it didn't. So we're going to back out of this, take it back out, and now we'll switch to the camera part. Let's say it failed the underwater video test. And now we'll show you the camera. Now the good thing is the Galaxy S5 doesn't have a dedicated, well the bad thing is it doesn't have a dedicated camera button. The good thing is you can use the volume down to key to take pictures. Show you what we mean here. And it took a picture just by holding the volume down key. The reason you can't use something like tap to focus is primarily because it doesn't like responding to fingers underwater or any form of contact when it's underwater. So underwater it goes and we're gonna shoot a couple of pictures. Now it's underwater, let's begin. Now they're not going to be amazing pictures because it is just a bowl of water on a tape or a wooden table, but it shows you that it still works. Cool, so now that we're done, let's give this a bit more of a shake and we'll show you how it remains waterproof, even though it's got a removable back cover. Let's get this bowl of water out of the way and we'll be back in a second. So as you can see here, I've got a cloth and now I've got my Galaxy S5. First thing we're gonna do, is try and get rid of any excess water by giving it a vicious, well not vicious, but a thorough wipe down across the entire foam. We'll move to the back. You see it's quite wet. And again, here we go again. Just making sure every ounce is, or every inch is just dried off properly. Let's take this out of the way and we'll take the back cover off. Now this is probably the riskiest part because this is where you've got to be very careful because this is where any excess water lingering around the sides inside the seal, well outside the seal but inside the back cover, may actually end up getting onto the, the delicate parts of the device. Let's peel the back cover off and you can see there's quite a bit of water inside the back cover but it's crucially it's all outside this particular seal which is the most important seal there because that's what remains waterproof. We'll move the back cover to one side and on the device itself you may not be able to see it but I'm going to point out where I can physically see water. So I'm seeing a little bit of water on the sides here, nothing up the top really, a little bit on the sides and some down the bottom. Crucial, it's also covering the speaker here which if we go back to the cover should technically be covered, well no, which if we go back to the cover you can see has, there is, it's not covered by the seal because that's where the speaker port is. So now we're going to give this a wipe down. And you see there's little bits dragging along across our battery, but this should hopefully be okay still. Now we finished, random music started playing. We'll put the phone to one side, preferably where it's not wet, and turn our attention to the back cover. On the back cover, all I'm going to do is go around the seal here, just to make sure that any excess water is mopped up and there's nothing inside the seal, which there isn't. Now we put the handset back here, turn it back on, and it's working perfectly. 
everything's working. Big test, is the camera working? Again, on this wooden table. Camera's working fine. Is the speaker working? Let's go back to our video. You can see the buttons are working, which is a problem we had with the Galaxy S4 Active. Just forward it again to a random point. Now the last stop, what about something that's slightly more delicate like the finger, like the heart rate monitor on the back underneath the camera there. I sit my fingers going underneath the heart rate monitor. Let's go into S Health and give this a quick test. So now we're in S Health and we've set up. Let's go to heart rate and tap OK. Clearly didn't work, probably because of the fingerprint, but we'll try it again. As you can see, the heart rate monitor works even after being dunked underwater. And that's a quick look. Well, that's... And that is an underwater test with the Samsung Galaxy S5. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.